Lesson 14. Conditioning the mind. It cannot differentiate between illusion and reality. I'm always curious why people of all shapes and sizes, education level and gender can succeed in life. Are there no distinctive common denominators? I realize one of the main factors is in their ability to control what lies between their left and right ears, the mind. Millions of thoughts are running through your mind even when you are reading this sentence. While reading this, you may be thinking of what to do next, where to go for lunch, or what time to head to bed. With the advancement in technology and social media, we are by far the most easily distracted generation. With so much information and distraction, the successful people get affected like everyone else. The only difference is that they can control them. They are able to guard their mind and block out negativity. If it ever comes in, they quickly dissipate it and put it off like extinguishing a small spark. They never allow the flame to grow or stay longer than it should. How can you guard your thoughts since they are coming in quickly and in such high volumes and frequency? Imagine having a filter gauze just behind your ears and eyes. It filters out some information before it reaches your mind. The filter is like a muscle in the body. The more you train it, the more effective it will become. And it can be trained to filter at speeds faster than you can imagine. Assuming the negative news is so penetrative that it went in. What you need to do is to isolate it and deal with it immediately. My suggestion is to take it head on, ask yourself a series of questions. Number one, do I need to entertain this issue now? If yes, then go on. If not, put it in to-do list and move on with what you have been doing that is urgent or important. Number two, is this something within my control or out of my control? If it's within my control, I will go on to step 3. If not, I'll kill the thought immediately and get on with what I was doing previously. Number 3. I'll take 100% responsibility over the things that happen. What's my best case and worst case scenarios for this problem? When I've established that parameter, I'll go ahead and get it solved. It will always fall within the parameter if I get all my facts and information right which means the outcome is now within my control and expectation. It's the punches that you don't see that will knock you out. If you know where it's coming from, you can be physically, mentally and emotionally prepared for what lies ahead. We do have absolute control over our mind. When we can control it, the body follows. Just like a computer mainframe, when you get that in order, the rest of the body simply executes whatever command you gave it. The interesting thing about the mind is that it cannot differentiate illusion from reality. It simply entertains any thought that you let in. Just like a CPU will process the information of the CD, it will run regardless if there is a virus or not. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also follow me on all my social media platforms here and i'll see you in the next one